All right. We're back at it, guys. It's Bryce. Again, Vito's Fantasy Football League. Doing a little catch up. You know, been out of town for a little bit. Hopefully, you guys are, you know, following me on my socials, you know, getting to see all the fun stuff we did. Did some Southern California trip, did some Disneyland and Legoland. Also did some SeaWorld, Universal. We went to the beach, the pier. It was lots of fun, guys. Lots, lots of fun. But uh, back to the realness right now. The, the talk, getting a little review recap right now of Vito's week three and week four, and then the projections for week five. And uh, some interesting stuff went down. We'll call it interesting. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll kind of discuss what happened uh, and go from there. You know, we'll just see exactly where, where everything's at what we're flowing into and uh yeah we'll see we'll get some interesting takes here so let me pull this up real quick boom there it is this is week three so i kind of have all my my things over here to the left as you can see my little pick them so that way everybody's on board with what's happening and uh a little bit upsetting in this week All right, we're back at it, guys. It's Bryce. Again, Vito's Fantasy Football League. Doing a little catch-up, you know, been out of town for a little bit. Hopefully, you guys are, you know, following me on my socials, you know, getting to see all the fun stuff we did. Did some Southern California trip, did some Disneyland and Legoland, also did some SeaWorld, Universal. We went to the beach, the pier. It was lots of fun, guys. Lots, lots of fun. But uh, back to the realness right now, the, the talk... Getting a little review recap right now of Vito's week three and week four, and then the projections for week five. And uh, some interesting stuff went down. We'll call it interesting. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll kind of discuss what happened uh, and go from there. You know, we'll just see exactly where, where everything's at, what we're flowing into. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll get some interesting takes here. So let me pull this up real quick. Boom. There it is. This is week three. So I kind of have all my, my things over here to the left, as you can see, my little pick them so that way everybody's on board with what's happening. And uh, a little bit upsetting in this week. So obviously I picked myself 48 points, guys. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? My top scorer was my defense with 12 points, 48, 48 points. I reviewed it. I double checked it. I had all of my players set in there in the lineup. Nothing was empty. And then I double checked it again, and that was by far easily the lowest score of the entire season. I think the next one was like 50 or 60 something, but yeah, 48. Whoa. So starting off, really, really, I picked myself to win. I'll be, I do that every week. It was a bad week. Derek, uh, you know, it, it was good. It was an average week for him. Um, he did well. Good for him. Uh, the second one I picked, Sealer Sr., nailed that one. It was a nail biter game, and Tyler, you almost got him. You almost got him, Tyler. Super close, if not for Mahone's 30, but you also had Ryan's 50, so I, I mean, that's, that's a tough week to lose. Literally would have beat almost everybody else. So, sorry about that, Tyler. It's tough. After that, I picked Pabe. No, I picked Casey. Pabe was 0-2. Pabe was, was me. He was 0-2, and then he gets a win against Casey. 1-2. Obviously, we know what happens the next week, but... This one, I remember, so I went back and I watched the video. I originally did say, it's the skull, was going to win this one. And then I went back and I said, no, Vito's undefeated. I got to keep Vito winning until he's losing. Changed it to Vito. And then at the end of the video again, I was like, no, I'm picking skull. And you, you let me down, man. You let me down, Dilly. Four points, another very close game. But Vito got his 3-0 and here, as we, we know what happens here soon. A little spoilers, because we're doing a little bit of catch-up. So I, I missed that one as well. So right now we're a solid one and three. Luckily, I stuck with my guns on Alec undefeated three and oh this week. We see what happens next week. And then I picked Jason 130 big time. Woo! Big week. As you can see, Aaron Rodgers, his team is based around that. If Aaron Rodgers has a good week, Jason's team 
typically has a good week. That's week three, ladies and gentlemen. That week, as you can see, I went three and three. Just average, just a normal week, nothing crazy. On to week four. Guys, look at this. What a one and three, baby. Woo! After having the lowest scoring week of any team in any week this entire time. There were people's benches that outscored my 48 points last week. I come in big time, have a 165, luckily squeaked over. 165 also, after being the lowest scoring points of any team any week, I go on to become the highest scoring. 165 is the most points put up by any team, any week. Jason, get some. I'm one in three, I know scoreboard, whatever, but you got bodied. 165. Starting off the week with a bang. Uh, what happened here? Casey going off. His whole team just going off. 163 as well. Very, very good week. He lost us. He beat Senior. So this week it's it's changing up. Sealer's not undefeated. Mahomes did well, you know, but he, he had a bad week overall. Sucks. After that, Vito, I was banking on you again. And you lost and got manhandled by gaming. Not, just not even not, these three games weren't even close. Not even entertaining to watch. A closer game, though. Pave getting the W after, the, after me picking Sealer to go 0-2 the next two weeks. And you know what? Not too bad. 1-1 one one there, Sealer. I know you're a little sour about me picking you to lose the next two weeks, but that's a tough loss as well. I mean, you literally would have beat a good, a good chunk of the league as well at 1-11. That's hard. Um, Deshaun Watson finally showed up for Pave. Obviously, I'm not going into details, but... He's had, he's had some up and down. So Deshaun Watson got him the dub. Closest game of the week. It's the Skull and Brandon Luna. Picked Brandon there. Sorry, Skull. And no, you know what? I, I, I'll give you a sneak preview. I got you losing again this week. Not to put any salt in your wounds, but you play somebody who always picks themselves to win. So a little rough. And guys, what is going on here? What? In the earthly name, oh, hold on, hold on, shouldn't have clicked there. What in, what, what's going on? Alec is 4-0. and oh. Alec is the solo, lone, undefeated team of the league. I got hit money on him. People, the next person that beats, or the only person that beats him, the next person that beats him gets money. I'd much rather pay one of you guys a couple bucks versus paying Alec. I think I told him 50 bucks if you went undefeated. Hot damn. Alec is 4-0. and oh. And I mean, based on previous years, he's got to win like three of his next nine games to get into the playoffs. So, Alec, I'm not saying you shoot in because that's never a sure thing, but you're looking pretty good at a four and oh right now. Uh, we'll see what happens this next week. We'll see what projections bring up. We'll, we'll get it all figured out. But this week I did four and two a little bit better, a little bit better. So I, I think overall I'm sitting at five, eight, ten and nine, ten, eleven. 14, right? 8, 10, 14, and 10. So that's good. Well, I'm doing pretty well. I'm just saying, right now, 14 and 10 is a hell of a lot better than my 1 and 3 record. So if we were doing pick every week, I'd be doing pretty all right. Pretty all right. But that's it. On to the next. On to the next. We got week 5 coming up here. Week 5, baby. Getting all this set up for you beautiful souls. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get some previews coming in. If I can type here, there we go. I didn't set this up beforehand, so shame on me, but it's all right. We're here. We've got some very interesting matchups this week. Just going to put it out there. Very interesting. Took some, some sneak peeks at them, but we're going to go into them in a bit more detail. Break down the, the, the structures again. But uh, if you look at this game right here, myself versus Skull versus Dylan. I'm just saying, Dylan, your team is, I know Tannehill had a bad week. Fournette's not playing. Thank you. I get lucked out there. I have the better of the New England running backs now. Granted, James White has scored more consistently. But going forward, it's Sony Michelle. Dude, he's him and Ingram are winning me a championship this year. You put it down right now. Put it down right now. Sony Michelle, Mark Ingram, getting me the ship. Devonta Freeman, Dalvin Cook are lightweight backups right now. Dude, they're struggling. Getting, getting injuries, man. Making me hurt. Right now, I got this one handedly. I'm sorry, Dilly. I'm sorry, dude. You just you got you got some good people here and there, but Goodwin's probably not playing this week. Fournette's not playing this week. You got Godwin on by. You've got a few guys that are hurt. Your team's a little banged up, unfortunately, but I got myself winning this one. And I would have picked myself anyway, even if it was a shootout, as we've seen in previous. 
even when I'm projected to lose big time, but I, I got a good lead right now. Got a good projection going on. This is the matchup, though, guys, like of the week, in my opinion. Of my opinion, this is my favorite matchup right now, as we'll look real quick. It's projected 103.94, so not the highest scoring one of the week, but 3-1 versus 3-1. Uh, Vito, Russell Wilson let you down last week, and I hate to say it, he's playing the Rams. It's not looking good. He is at home, fortunately, so that, that helps him out a little bit. Saquon will be good. James Conner, count your blessings right now. Le'Veon Bell, week seven, okay? Michael Thomas will do well at home. T.Y. Hilton's not going to play this week. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. You got Jordy down here, it looks like. You got Keelan Cole. That's a nice play this week against Kansas City. The worst defense, Pave, in the NFL right now, fantasy points wise. But Kansas City, getting the W's, but their defense sucks. Just being honest. Royce Freeman, I like. Over here on seniors team, we got Breeze. Again, will be money at home. Gurley is always money. Just put lock it in there. A.J. Green, Tyreek Hill, both dynamite. Adrian Peterson against a bad Saints offense, also pretty good. You've got a few guys on by. You picked up Calvin Ridley, who I think you should plug this week for Callaway. Just putting that out there. Personal opinion, Sealer. But I'm picking Sealer Senior. He's been on a tear. He had one down week, but I think uh, his Drew Brees bounces back big time at home. Uh, and I think he, he's going to save you this week. He'll have like a 30, 40 point week again, like normal. So that's good. And the next one we got here, we got Josh Sealer versus Casey. 97, 97. Nice projection there, guys. Nice projection there. Sealer versus Casey. Oh, boy. Yep, yep, yep. Got Brady, Kareem Hunt, Ajay, Dig, Sanders, Gronk. I don't, I, Gronk should play this week. Will Fuller, I don't think, is going to play this week, unfortunately. We'll see what happens to him. You got Philip Lindsay. You got deep bench here. Um, that's good. Casey's team blew up last week, and that was, that was good for him. He's, he was riding Giovanni Bernard. I think Mixon's back, so that unfortunately busts you. Kenyon Drake is just disgusting. I'm sorry. Carrion Johnson is going to be your RB2 this week. And you can't trust any of the other running backs. You do have good wide receivers, though. Sammy Watkins, Michael Crabtree to fill out that flex. Hopkins, Bernard's cup. That's good, man. You got, you got good receivers. But Baker against Baltimore, I don't love it all. You don't have another quarterback right now, so I don't love that. Uh, I got to go with Brady against Indy. That should be a blow up. And then he just had the depth is so good on, Bra on Sealer's team. He's just getting some bad beats, I think. So we're going to go with Sealer here. Sealer getting the dub. Sorry, Casey. I'm sorry. Your team's good. But you, you've been kind of skating by a little bit, man. Drake is, Drake is droppable right now. Just saying. Bernard's done, unfortunately. I, no, not done. He'll, he'll have value, but Mixon's back. So his big point weeks are done. <sighs> tough, tough running backs there. Tough, your receivers are dope, though, but tough running backs for sure. Fourth game, we got Luna and Gaiman, 107.96. This is, I think, the highest projection, just barely, but the highest projection of combined point teams. So this should be another shootout here. We got Luna and Gaiman. Us against Pitt, that's going to be ugly, just saying. Matt Ryan's going to put up a lot of points. It's going to be a shootout game. Lamar Miller is struggling right now. TJ Yeldon, good pickup there. Good snag there, Gaiman. Yeldon's going to be dope because Fournette will be out a couple weeks. Julio and Odell's going to do it for you. Galladay, Jeffrey. You have Carson, Morris, Matavius. Okay, that's good. Eifert, sorry about that one, dude. Bad loss there, but you still got Jordan Reed. Not, not, no big deal. But on the other side of the ball here with Brandon Luna, we have an awesome... We'll see what Kamara does now that Ingram's back. I think he's still good. I don't know if he's 35 points a week good. I, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, Andrew Luck, though, against New England will be good. Austin Eckler. I can't believe you're, you're playing a backup. I mean, I know he's been decent. I know he's been decent. Goodness, a backup running back in your flex spot. Messed up, missing up on Tariq Cohen. You ain't got nothing else. You got a backup quarterback down here. Allen Robinson, you can plug back in, which will be good. Um, Tyler Boyd should be good again, honestly, with, uh, with kind of where they've been at lately with uh, Eifert going down. So that kind of helps you out there. Oh, this is a tough one, guys. This is this is a good this is a good matchup through and through. Um, I have to go here with the Jones Beckham stack, though. 
Um, Devontae Adams should get his, but Pierre Garcon isn't that great. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going Gaiman. Tyler, Tyler G. Tyler G. Is this the first time I picked Tyler? Oh, my gosh. I don't see his. Oh, I did pick him earlier. I was like, is this the first time ever picking Tyler's team? All right. Derek Lee. Juan Pave. I, I don't even want to review this one right now. Don't even want to review it. I know what's going to happen here. And I don't want it to happen here. Just Derek's team is so damn good looking top to bottom. Oakland's terrible. Philip Rivers is going to get his. Collins is doing okay, but you got Mixon to switch in there. That's great. Um, you've got Breda, who's going to continue doing well. Antonio Brown, Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen had an off week, but the, the stack there, the Philip Rivers, Keenan Allen against Oakland this week is too heavy. George Kittle's a beast. Marvin Jones, Tevin Coleman are all great. Um, and uh, don't get me wrong, Papa, your team's nice. That's good. I picked you to win. You got two wins in a row, actually. So your team's heating up. That's good. Uh, David Johnson is doing okay. LaShawn McCoy is is there. Amari uh, Cooper won you last week because he had a good week. Edelman's back. Uh-oh. And then you got Travis Kelsey, Mike Williams. Um, not loving your depth, unfortunately. I mean, you got your starters, and that's about all you got. You barely got your starters right now. So I got to give this one to Derek Lee running away. I don't think it's going to be close. Unfortunately, Pabe, I hope Deshaun Watson, David Johnson, I hope those guys can stack up and do you well. If not, it's going to be a rough week, man. Rough, rough week. And the last one here, Jason Ainsworth, who just got bodied by me. I don't care if I have one win, Jason. I'm going to talk all the shit, man. Sorry. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. But Alec is actually projected to get owned this week. 81 to 101. Let's see what's going on here, guys. Rodgers at Detroit. Dynamite. Zeke at Houston, great matchup. Carlos Hyde is having a tougher matchup against Baltimore. Demarius Thomas is going to do well. Geronimo Allison, if he's healthy, that's a solid pick. It's a solid pick. I don't know if he's going to get past the concussion, right? Isn't that, I think that's what he's out for, concussion. Um, outside of that, Jimmy Graham, James Crowder, Kenny Stills. Uh, your bench is a little struggling because you got Evans on by. Buck Allen against Cleveland is always a good matchup. Cleveland's defense has been a little bit something to desire. And Nick Chubb, that's a that's a rough one. He had a great week last week, and he was probably sat on your bench. But um, two to three carries a week isn't worth starting. So, unfortunately, you got to sit. Alex team. Cam Newton, my favorite quarterback right now. And I mentioned it before the season. He is my favorite quarterback, unfortunately, being in our division. But he's playing the Giants, who are, are, are struggling to do anything nice right now. Chris Thompson should be a shootout against New Orleans, should be chasing, getting a bunch of catches, getting a bunch of yards. Tavon Austin, that's the grossest thing I've ever seen. Who is playing a Dallas wide receiver, Alec? Holy jeez. Brandon, your entire team, a.k.a. Dez, who will not sign, is all on bye. The permanent bye week there, bro. Bye, bye, bye. Le'Veon Bell, I was wrong. I felt it in my bones. I knew he wasn't going to sit out until week 11. It sounds like he's coming back week 7. Um, so. Screw you for being 4-0 without your best player, and he's going to come back and help you anyway. That sucks. Andy Dalton, Evan Ingram, out, out, out. So you got no bench. Literally no bench. This is your starting lineup. Just get rid of Tavon Austin. That's the grossest thing. He's a running back wide receiver. God, that's disgusting. Dude. That is, oh my, that's, that makes me throw up. Anyways, Juju, Ted Ginn are okay. Jaguars D against Kansas City. That's a tough one to play. But do I think, I think Jason's got to get this one. Alec, I'm sorry. I know I've been picking you to win over and over and over, and I've been right. But I think you got to get, you're going to get your, your L. I'm going to have to pay Jason some money after whooping on him. It's tough, man. It's tough. Jason, get the W. Get the, get the, get the head hunt money, okay? Get the head hunt money. Get it. Take it out. Anyways.